Well, a good dawning to thee, friends. As we descend upon Pennsylvania in all of our cloaked glory, if you're just joining us, this is a an audit, if you will, or a review following sort of in the footsteps of the photographers that undertook the nation's first federal preservation program, which started in 1933 with the stated aim to document America's architectural heritage, to mitigate the negative effects upon our history and culture of rapidly vanishing architectural resources. At the same time, important early preservation initiatives were just getting underway, such as the restoration of the colonial capital at Williamsburg and the development of the National Park Service. Of course, they didn't actually get around to actually setting aside or reserving or registering any historical properties until for another 40 years. The building selection will range in type and style from the monumental and arch architect design to the utilitarian and vernacular, including a sampling of our nation's vast array of regionally and ethnically derived building traditions. An odd admission there. You know, being suspicious of generally anything that has anything to do with powers that be. I once noted that photograph selection was odd. Sure, sure, they, they, they took pictures of anything built over 50 years old or had some sort of historical significance. But it seems to me there was a focus on different. Yeah, that leads me to believe that they were kind of hunting for something. And as I've stated before, my personal opinion that there is a large amount of evidence that suggests that this land was inhabited, populated, and constructed by a prior empire or a prior civilization. That's been stamped out of our history for the most part. The buildings often portray, well, any building actually built before 1910 or so portrays evidence that there was a flood of epic proportions that has whether it's deliberate or natural, that drove the foundation of these buildings to be six feet or more uh, submerged in the earth, being passed off as basements and root cellars and other ridiculous repurposings. And so we, or I, am just simply strolling along state to state, photo by photo, and just seeing what we can see. These are just the opinions of one person, one lowly voice, utilizing the promotion of fair use for educational purposes, etc., etc. And now then, the paywall of boredom, if that didn't strain you out, we shall continue with part seven of Pennsylvania. Ya -da 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 -da. And uh, let me just make sure that things are all good here. Sure would hate to waste my own time, much less everybody else's. Cozy little cabin. And I've, as I've stated before, I had the misfortune of, or I guess the mishap, uh, whatever you call it, an action that you regretfully took. I sorted all of these alphabetically, and thinking that that would, I'd be able to screen for duplicates more accurately. However, what I did inadvertently end up doing is lumping them out of sequence, so whereas usually they'll take a photograph of the outside, they'll <clears throat> stop and admire the broken windows that are typical of Pennsylvanian architecture, they will, uh oh, hold on, and then they'll proceed to go inside and take pictures of things like staircases, doors to exter exterior doorways, uh, attics, basements, anything original, decor-wise in the home, and fireplaces, with the emphasis on fireplaces. Did I mention fireplaces? fireplaces. But as it stands, the way we're going through them, since they are not sequential, uh, due to my <clears throat> erroneous behavior, then I imagine we're going to get to a point where it's just a thousand fireplaces in a row, <laughs> out of context. But, you know, we're in the pudding now, we're a little too deep to change it, so forgive the fireplaces fire fire as we go along, if you can find it in your heart. Now here we have a, what appears to be, a very antiquated style, almost castle-ish. Not typically what you would expect to find here, now is it? Rather grand. Rather grand. As I've said before, this is a tale of two different cities, almost, or two different timelines. It seems like they're running some sort of parallel where you have this sort of other thing, and then this sort of this other thing, sort of on top of it. These other things take various incarnations. They can take the form of brick and cement. They can take the form of destruction and construction. They can take the form of amazing and trashed. This is a boiler house in Scranton. And apparently they've given up on it. Some time ago, I might add. And man, I wonder if it's on anyone's priority list to just get out there and clean up the mess they made. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, right guys? Right? Isn't that how we do it? Or are we just, uh, was that just, uh, was that just for us and not you? Was that just for the peons? I'm pretty sure I'd get fined if I threw a piece of paper in the street. But apparently I can build a boiler room out in the middle of the frickin' desert and just leave it forever. Noted. Noted, America. These are the things they don't tell you in school. No, <laughs> actually, if I made a list of all the things they don't tell you in school, it would just say, uh, anything useful, end of list. 
Such charming pieces of industry dotted about the hillside, cleverly boarded up. No use to anyone. Who cares? The blacksmith shop. Out of business. Maryland shaft number two. And the lone daredevil that remains. Useless trash. Here is... Oh, this is in the wrong category. But the right city or state. It's a very weird way to write that. Methinks this has been repurposed in some way. This is a Masonic temple in Blair County. Altoona, which also boasts a rather incredible capital building, we're told. This fine brickwork, apparently. And these men practiced what's known as free masonry. As in stonework that you acquired for the price of nothing. I'm sure that's a coincidence, though, right? They say the founding fathers were all Freemasons and all that. I mean, they couldn't mean that the, the first people here, like, found everything, right? So I'm sure of it. I believe the stories that I was told, from Santa Claus to Benjamin Franklin flying a kite with a key attached learning about electricity, to Newton needing an apple falling from a tree to discover that things fall down, ignoring the urine that he was apparently delivering in an upward manner his entire life, or any time he threw anything up into the air, or any time he tripped and fell down, or picked up something heavy. No, no, no. It was an apple. The apple that started it all. The atom. The basis of life. The beginning. Adam's apple. Well, it ain't the prettiest gingerbread house, but it's mine, and I love it. This looking like the gingerbread house I sculpted, frustrated in the fourth grade. And as we see here, this is a... Oh, wow, I spoke too soon. I was about to say, a nice stretch of just American homes that just kind of made sense. You know, nothing really too suspicious here. Things are starting to feel real comfortable. Until, and no doubt, this is some... Ah, uh, yes, of course, the Mechanics Bank. The banks always get the good buildings, as we've discussed. You gotta be part of the club, you see. You don't get to keep this kind of building unless you are a member of the insurance, or the army, or the schools, or Hollywood, or government officials, or the usual collusion of forces that are allied against us. I don't know if this is a uh, intentional... It looks like part of the sign is falling, but... I don't know what's going on there, but I don't like it. And I do like this building, though. What a beauty. What a real beauty. A paper warehouse, this is. And this is just always going to bother me. You couldn't possibly try to tell me that this was designed this way. It's almost as if you hated your own construction. Like I wanted to make it very difficult on myself to dig without power tools, to construct a nice house out of stone that's already colossally large, and then to dig a basement on top of that, and then make these windows so that when it rains or snows, as it invariably will, that it, it compromises the integrity of the structure, and hopefully that happens soon. That's why That's why I put my windows in here. I don't know why else you would, and I don't think you would. Meller and Meg's architectural office is what I'm supposedly looking at, but what I actually see is steaks and lobsters. Let's see, live up here. And these, of course, useless ornamental features, we're told. I don't believe that either. This is in every building in every city across the world, every continent, every city. We don't build houses the same way. Even now, we do things different. So why would this be everywhere? Unless it's like, you know, a TV antenna, because those are everywhere. This is where the grandparents of Charlie Bucket from Willy Wonka were all buried, in death as they were in life, just facing each other in the same. And this is a very historic, amazing bridge. No one knows how it was constructed, possibly by Romans. I am being sarcastic, of course. Here we have what must be original to the property, these tiles. Well, they wouldn't be featured here. I don't think I've ever seen tile in these before. I wonder what they're supposed to be picturing. Looks like a tree falling down, maybe? And then you've got this angel guy scampering about. This is a stick-up lollipop. Very curious. Not, um, not skilled to size very properly, unless there were huge jackals back then. And here's a modern-day castle here that we're apparently not allowed to get close to. <laughs> Like I said, a reckless speculation, that's a what do we do. Here we go, more of these shenanigans. I find it odd to build a place like this. These doors are placed strangely. It's just a strange building. Like everything in this era. Wow, the same old logo they got today, huh? How about that? I didn't realize that company was that old. These mobile bastards. And here you have subterranean entrances. Why? Why make it so hard on yourself, early architects? You're already building this amazing structure. More bricks in Pennsylvania than I've ever seen in my life. Yet, I never see anywhere where they make bricks. You'd think that'd be historical. Gotta be the biggest building of all time. Biggest brick factory or whatever they call called. Manufacturer. Those are pretty incredible. The Cricket Club. 
And here's the cottage. This is a meeting house, they call it. I think that means for the Quakers, who were the first... Pennsylvania was supposed to be kind of a, a reservation for the Quakers in a way, but the land was massive, if we're to believe the stories were told, which... I mean, I don't. <laughs> You're welcome to do. Uh, the Carnegie Illinois Steel Corporation. Carnegie Crook. United States Steel Corporation was the parent company. How about that? Of course it was. Now, I forgot to mention that not all these are historical because there's another survey that was called the um, America uh, Engineering Record Survey that I got the photos kind of all jumbled up. So some of this stuff is actually uh, more from, uh, to be looked at from more from an engineering point of view. This is the Methodist Church. I'm going to say that this one is probably truthful in its construction. I see the wooden beams here that are kind of typical of this era. Now, maybe the base isn't, but I don't think so. I believe this, see this smaller layer here of older stones, maybe? Or even the very bottom might not be original, but this looks like modern-ish construction. Chimney looks a little small compared to the, this house. Looks like a little bit of brick difference there. So maybe this original square is from an earlier time period. I don't know, but this upper top, this looks like it's made out of wood. And I believe that this was probably fashioned after the buildings that were already here and in style and that sort of thing. So, so far this has been very safe. Now I always find these to be very interesting. Almost like they put more effort into this than this. I'm assuming this came afterwards. These concrete sort of, whatever they are, barriers. <laughs> the expressionless house. Couldn't even smile for the camera. This guy's like, come on, housey, talk to me, say something. And he won't do it. Here we have what looks like another rail station, uh, the Myers Myersdale Depot. And it looks like it's long been in disrepair. I don't know why. Why would you just allow things to collapse like this? And you see how chintzy this porch is to enter the front door. This makes no sense. And the same with this basement here and this old thing. And this is a different kind of stone. So I don't know what to think of this. Kind of a piece of junk anyway, but here you go. A barn. We're going to build a barn with a basement. Does that make sense? I don't think so. Then there's the other side of Pennsylvania, which are these very dignified Victorian homes. The white picket fences and the manicured lawns. And then you've got this old world sort of what's left of an old world building. This is a Jewish cemetery entrance. One of many of Pennsylvania's old world looking bridges. Here we have a very, very odd foundation. And I just don't think that this was built to hug the earth with such close contours. I just don't buy it. This area looking like almost it was sort of patched, filled in, which would make sense if this wind row of windows continued to go, that around here you'd get to one that was problematic. But again, it's a reckless speculation. Who can know for sure? No way. One of these little guys. Yeah, my grandpa used to have one of these. Again, you have a recessed little doorway with clear evidence of a basement. And look at that, the whole, look at that, the whole floor plan down there. Just an odd way to do that. These doors come out to like a, what, a sloping roof? It's a door here and opens up. I mean, it's a cool house, but I just feel like it's uh, it was flooded out at one point. Like they all were. There's something in these basements that they didn't want people to, to see or have. It just seems too deliberate. It's not mud floods, real mud floods, carry homes away. They're very destructive. These seem like they were just sort of like, like they sort of figured out how to, you know, with a rod or whatever, sticking into the earth to create enough vibrations to turn the soil into liquid and just just flood out the bottom basement the bottom floor of most of these homes and then people came along and dug them out and suddenly you got storm cellars and you got root cellars and i mean think about this you gotta dig a basement a lot of these basements they pass them off as cellars all right you gotta dig a basement call it a root cellar okay how many root cellars you've been in what's the floor of them dirt why would you how are you going to dig a basement? Found, put the foundation down. Dig a basement. They fill it with dirt. You wouldn't do that. Those are the ones that they haven't dug out yet. Think about it. If you are afraid to admit to yourself that everything we know is a lie, that's okay. I know it's tempting to, and sometimes vital, to hold on to some aspect of sanity during these troubling times. But if you've already given up faith in anything like that a long time ago, then come on in, because the water's fine, and there's plenty to investigate, such as this. Why is this in existence? How are we going to build stuff like this 130 years ago and not do it today? And of course, it's a bank, because the bankers, the ones that run this world, got there first. Hmm, what's radioactive? That's interesting. Why does it say that? I'll bet you because this used to mean something else. And it probably used to mean that this generated some sort of power. Because that's what I think these were. And I'll explain the tech some other time. Oh, here you go. Wow. Now we're really getting into it. The 
ridiculous nature of these buildings. Now, why would Pennsylvania suddenly construct this? What is the purpose of these doors? These windows? What used to be here? Or were they like ports? Or uh, like a subwoofer? Who are these goddesses? Why are they up there? Why does this have a broken arm? Who made this? And do you think it's at all possible for Pennsylvania to make this in the early 1800s? As as if they had the desire to do it, why? Why and how? And to build such a massive thing on such a janky foundation. Look at this. It probably goes at least another, another floor down there. And... Behold, you have here a sunken level, another floor. How is that? And what is this? This is a theater. Of course, because you have to have control of the theaters. It's the same fucking club. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, at the Makanakwa School, things are looking a little, uh, weird? Which one's the school? I guess that one? The one that looks older than time. Here's a monastery. Even this looking, this looks plausible. I just don't know why the bottom half has to look so different. Maybe because it was covered up in water or mud or something. Hell, I don't know. Hell, you don't know. And what do we got here? The old hot metal bridge. Why the base is made of ancient stone from the looks of it. I guess maybe so it doesn't rust out, but did they do that now? I don't think so. It's concrete. Who knows anymore? Trains seem like such a relic. Such an, so out of place next to the stagecoaches. This must be that world's steepest, uh, whatever, vehicular thing we were saying. Jesse? I didn't know you were this old. Yeah, the stone looking like it's a very different era from up here. I mean, maybe not, but maybe so. Here we have the uh, railway company shops. Yeah, you know, in case you want to go in and uh, buy some new tires or something. Just in case, you know, throwing it out there. This is a uh, lock and dam for the river. The <clears throat> river, which actually is probably a massive canal. But what do I know? Interesting choice. And these are not part of the historical record. When you see a colored one like this, it stands out so clearly. This is because I have gone through and taken the time and dug up, uh, looked up many of these properties, the ones that are still existing, which about 10% of them are maybe, and tried to post, tried to, you know, save them so we can kind of see what, how they've aged or how they survived and things like that. So that's not really part of the survey. But again, due to my sorting mistakes, it's part of the show. So I guess, hi, my name is... Here we have an amazing old world structure that is being passed off as a pottery and tile works uh, production facility, I suppose. Or maybe just a, uh, a store. I don't know. But it seems a little bit fancy, a little bit extra for a tile place. And this is, we are, this of course, this photograph being the modern take of it. This being the one from the survey where you get a lot of weathering on this. And this is clearly concrete. You can see it's not stone. Like you would imagine if you saw this, um, at least these parts are not. I'm assuming that this weathering is probably from snow over time and just very old concrete, but very hobbled together kind of place. I mean, metal pipe kind of inside this. I don't know. It's just a kind of a smorgasbord of weirdness. I think we saw this one earlier. Poles of being little, <laughs> little, uh, KKK clansmen type, uh, little gnomes with no arms or legs that were actually just little KKK clansmen. Here, yeah, but here they can't see us from over here. And that, wow, look at that. What a, what a beauty. If they only knew what this building looked like, they'd drop, they'd drop it and walk away. Excellent shot of this tree. Um, if you were trying to take one of the house, I think that's a strange way to do that. So kudos to that photographer for, <clears throat> the F is for failure in your case, sir. Good day. Pretty cool bridge. Didn't look very old, though. Another example of Pennsylvania's dedication to care and serious efforts to preserve all of these old properties. And what is that? And let me guess, you're going to pretend this is like a... Gary is bad, okay? Gary is bad. (laughs) I think that's what that says. Dean is bad. Hell, they're all bad. This is a school, of course. A Morse school. Samuel Morse probably... I'm sure Samuel Morse probably was named after him. The Morse code founder and all that. Morse code inventor. <clears throat> Actually seemed to be a pretty solid dude from what I remember. And then there's this. Constructed at the same time as this. Yep, by the same people. Can you believe that? Because I can't. Oh my god, a terrestrial laser scanner. Wow. What if that happened to just, you know, walking around and taking patches? Gotta use all these fancy lasers. Here's what's left of a blacksmith shop. Well done, well done. And out here, the remains of an ironworks. Something. I mean, I don't buy that. 
the hell is this? How did this, how did this get, how did this d just get destroyed so fast? Ironworks that got destroyed that fast. I mean, just most ironworks or like steel factories are, are so rugged that, I mean, even in the current conflict, you have battalions of troops holed up in them in Ukraine and other places. I mean, it, it, but not ours. We make our ironworks just out of this crumbly stone. Just after 20 years, it just falls apart. You know, it's like one of those cakes that you get that you leave out too long. Posted, dude. Posted what? Posted. Like a, it looks like a sinkhole or something in the front yard. What is that? Oh, here you go. I'm sure. Now, I'm sure that this was built just like this. Yep. This is what you wanted to do. This is what. This is the vision that you had. Yeah, right. More likely, this old structure, which probably had a bunch of cornices that went around here, which would have been typical of the style, later replaced as they fell off probably by these gutters. And you probably had matching windows, matching windows. Here, this here being the second floor. This here being the third floor. And the first floor. Okay, so my guess would be, when I look at something like this, I'll tell you what I see. This, to me, looks like it was originally a three-story building. As in, three stories above ground. And whatever event happened, whatever mud flood event or whatever happened that made this, you know, came flowing down the hill, it looks like, and hit the property here. And, you know, they built this here. It's a different type of stone, you can tell. Tried to make it match, but just couldn't. And added in this here so that they could then convert one of these windows like this. See how it's the same, right? Into a door. And they did the same thing right here. Window, same, 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 same. So they made these doors here. And eventually, because, you know, there's no doubt a staircase in here that leads down to the first floor, which had windows, which matched here and here. This one, it looks like you can still, this one, it looks like this one and this one sort of reformed. And you get over here to this side and you have the same thing. See this look? The big sill, the big sill. And you have stuck this wooden frame in there because there was a door already there and you dug it out or a window, and you dug it out, put a little stairs in. Over here, you add on, this is a different kind of stone, you can see it's more rough, you add this on, this little foyer or whatever. This might be part of an original structure, I don't know, it's hard to sell, uh, it looks like a door there, who knows what that's actually to, I mean, the whole property looks like it's in disarray, and you add a door here. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like they found it, or they bought it or whatever, in this condition, they dug it out, dug it out and moved in, best they could, and made it work, and just they conned it a basement, and they just didn't Take the extra effort and dig in over here. Dig this out over here. Because why would they? I mean, this is a massive, massive undertaking. You think about that. You're trying to dig this so this is flat with, like, shovels and, I mean, get the hell out of here. You're not going to do that. Not if you can get around it. It's easier to just put a door in where there was a window. And here's what's left of the furnace. Yep. Why is the furnace flooded, though? Anybody tell me that? And what's this? Uh, is this wood? Because these show wood. This isn't... You would You couldn't use stone in this. You couldn't put the... So what does that mean? Was this whole thing underwater? Like, why do they look like stone? I wonder if this whole thing was underwater. And this has been, like, petrified almost. I mean, it kind of looks like it, right? It's hard to say. I mean, inconclusive, but... She looks like a stone to me. I don't know how you could... How you could possibly have square stones like that that you'd put in a... As, as used as cross beams. I mean, that's, that's what they use wood for. It seems ridiculous. Here we got more of this dugout nonsense... This one's still having piles of dirt around it. And a door just unceremoniously dumped off to the side. And this one, too. Just put that door anywhere, guys. And this one, too. The hell, dude. Just why? And the bottom of this, looking at one point like it was much more grand. And again here. What the hell is this? Rubble? From where? Like, what is this? At least we're on the same ironworks. All this is from the same... All these pictures are from the same property. This is, like, where the staff used to live, apparently... And the whole thing, and this this one looks actually still occupied. A tenant house, and this is a, a hotel for birds. <laughs> All right, now here we have ah the cemetery, and of course such a glorious entrance for this cemetery. Now I have a theory about these cemeteries, which you know what, I'll save it for another time. But things are not all what they appear to be with these. Just gonna throw that out there. There's a reason for this, and it's not for the dead. And there's a reason for these. Do these even have any names on them? Of course not. Probably not. Hmm. A bit random, aren't they? I wonder what's going on here. It's almost as if this isn't where people are buried after all. These very uniform gravestones, aren't they? Hmm. I wonder. God, I'm biting my tongue so hard on this. But nah, it deserves its own special. 
And here we have Mount Pleasant in Philadelphia, proof that why these old structures, it looks like they were built to last. Why then are 90% of them so destroyed and decayed? Unless, of course, that's the idea. And what have we here? What's this little shape? Hmm, curious little pineal thing. And this looks like a pump of sorts. I wonder how it's powered. I wonder. Ah, psych, we're not done yet. You couldn't get any closer with this photograph, huh, bud? You just jumped out of the car and took it and... Here's what the uh, Mount Sinai Cemetery Chapel looks like today, and the ridiculous idea that these were somehow windows. Sure, windows that are apparently very necessary to board up. They just so happen to be other underneath other windows. Whatever. And this old thing. And here, an old tavern. And that looking completely normal. No, silly. It didn't start down here. That's a basement. All houses have a massive earthen ramp leading up to these massive double doors that we don't actually need. And then there's a little mini door cut in the center of one of them. <laughs> like, duh. It's totally normal. All of these bridges are totally normal. It's like a double life. Just struggling sometimes because part of me feels like I'm just a regular house, you know, regular frame house in Pennsylvania, you know. And the other part of me, though, feels like I'm an old castle that was like repurposed and actually like three stories tall. And the part of me is buried down underneath on this hillside, even this little sign here, sunken in. And we had to build a staircase here out of different material. And we had to paint the whole thing white just to make it look like it's, I'm, it's the same structure, but it's not. I'm a castle, I just know it. And here we go with more ridiculous. This is not the result of a flood or sliding of earth at all. This was meant to be this way. We wanted to have stairs that entered up the balcony. For part of it. I mean, over here we'll have stairs that enter the third story, just to make it sort of balanced, but... You know, it was all intentional. The Mulberry Street Viaduct... Viaduct? Yep, all the foundations were like this, intentionally. Pennsylvania, you... You make me laugh. Here, at least, they had the decency to push the earth away from the building properly. Well, there's still a basement, of course, but... At least they weren't doing things like, you know, turning windows into doors. And, wow. Not sure what's happening there, but I... I don't know if anyone's home, Jenny. Uh, of course. The musical hall. One needs a massive musical hall like this that looks that looks like this. It's just part of it. No doubt much more richly ornamented. Still, this is just incredible. And why would you put this effort into a music hall? That's w what budget is that in? I mean, sure, I can read what it says here, the chiseling. As if the people who created this building would make that such, sh that crappy little... Very, very cool. Wow, those roots are amazing. Well, Wilson, let me just... Let me stop you there, Wilson. I just want to admire the fact that you made that fire escape seamlessly bleed, blend into the building. I mean, you, one can hardly notice it's there. The practicality that you've managed to conceal in such a aesthetically pleasing uh, construct, I'm just, I, yeah, I'm amazed. Great job. You're fired. And all these buildings looking kind of empty. <laughs> Actually looking very empty, which not surprised because that's the whole plan, guys. And what in the ever-living bleep is that? Of course, the fire insurance building. Jesus, what is this? This is like a candy kingdom castle? Like a all the, all the bubble gum you can eat. Step right up, children. All the gingerbread you can eat. For free. No, no, no. There's no catch. Come on in. Uh, make yourself at home. And this is one of the coolest buildings I've seen in Pennsylvania so far. And, and uh, you know, insurance companies known for their creativity. <laughs> yeah, it makes it all the more believable. Uh, of course, the library. A library is also here. More of the players that we know. More of the good old boys. And this doorway looking like it should be going down another six feet to be symmetric. The whole building actually looking rather top heavy. What a fantastic building. I hope it's still around today, though I have my doubts. And here is another old world wonder. And I know we are so easy and so quick to equate the old world with primitive. Here's some sort of park with some sort of ancient canal in it. Who cares? Nobody cares. If it's not ancient, then um, tell me why they would dig it uh, next to this tree so close. Into the tree roots. Unless, of course, the canal was here before the tree grew. Which is, I think, <laughs> much more likely. And this tree over here tilting down should tell you something. But no, you're crazy. No, this is normal. Deal with it. This is normal. This, normal. 
that is that a little person <laughs> or is that a wow is that odd job from uh, golden bond from james bond i think that's odd job what is this sort of cross-section tree trunk and of course the national bank is behind it why of course the bank needs a building like this why without a building like this i just don't know what it would even do Thankfully, thankfully, the early bankers were also master architects. Or they just got there first. Not even got there first. The people that got here first, um, no doubt, uh, sent there or put there or encouraged to go there by um, some non-human uh, parasitic force. This is my opinion, of course. That they were given instructions how to set up a sweet little world that we can just, they can set up. Control all the information, control all the industries, suppress all the things that they couldn't figure out how to monetize, and then force the migration and invite everybody, come on in, America, just do whatever you want, take whatever you want, the land of opportunity, the land of the free. Oh, you mean all the millions and millions of people that's already here? Oh, they'll leave. And if they don't, they'll wish they did. And if they don't leave, even after that, well, we'll just kill all their buffalo and their food source, and we'll just chase them all out and... When we find these cities, you know, well, these empty ones, well, we'll take the best buildings for ours. So, if you're a bank, or whatever, if you're a bank, or if you're an insurance company, or if you're a government politician, or if you're an industry leader, or a member of the military, or a member of the education, which, you know, we're going to build all these things. We're going to write the history. We're going to make up stories. You got guys out here like George R. R. Martin and Stephen... Eric, uh, Stephen Erickson and Tokian that weave these fantastic worlds with races and origin stories and histories and span thousands of years and thousands of characters and they do it pretty much because they're moved to. It's a passion and some of them happen to get paid for it. Well, what if you had a whole army of people that were paid to write, not even that creatively? I'm pretty sure you could assign each of them an area, and over a few hundred, period of a few hundred years, you could crank out enough bullshit, hand everyone a pamphlet when they come through the door, let them know what's going on, and after a while, that lie just perpetuates itself, and this silent generation passes on, having bottled up their suspicions or their knowledge of maybe things not being quite the way that they're put forth, but, and then that's it. My granddaddy built this house. Oh, did he? Makes you wonder if that's what Mr. Bro Obama was talking about when he's saying, you didn't build that, not, not there, you didn't build that. That's somebody else built that. You know, maybe speaking tongue-in-cheek like they often do. Or you could believe that, the official narrative, you could say that I'm, I'm a quack. And the people that built this also built this. Okay, I mean, what? They went to France and learned how to build one? They went to Portugal? Oh, they were from there. Also, anyone that came from Portugal or France knows how to build this? It's stupid to think that this is just a casual memorial that we just threw up to honor some people, the Continental Army. You know, the Continental Army that consisted of basically a few thousand barefoot dudes. They'd be like, hey, uh, how about you not fuck around and how about instead of building this, you know, you give us shoes <laughs> or like, you know, shelter or whatever it is. I mean, the stories don't even make sense. Yeah, we built this in honor of the dudes that ran around barefoot and really could have used our help and, and the resources uh, that we were using to make this. Okay, you can stick with that narrative if you want, but that makes no sense to Ma Brian. And then there's this, which is a modern-ish construction on League Island, a naval base, looking very futuristic, much more modern. This must be, what, a hunt? This is allegedly 200 years later, 1970s, this, 1770s. Uh, which looks better? Hmm. And this is the full weight of the United States Navy behind it, you say. It's a shipyard, huh? Hmm. And it has the capabilities of that. Wow. And still, this looks better. Well, I don't buy it. And I believe that these had a purpose. And I believe that purpose has something to do with the shape. And I don't think it's a coincidence that this very same shape is also the shape that you find a magnet. And I'm not sure if this is some way of entering through a city or some sort of creating some sort of protective barrier or a way of sort of like purifying people that came through through some magnetic field i don't know but i'm just saying what it looks like to me because it feels like something like this has to have purpose and there's way too many of them around the world for it not to i mean north korea has one what we'll save that for another time as well wow pennsylvania it's amazing 
you create one of the most amazing marvels of all time that seems to defy the laws of physics, and you still can't keep your fucking windows from being smashed out. This is uh, more than Navy Base. This is actually not historic. This is part of the engineering record. This is historic, or maybe some crossover. Let's see. Now, this is the engineering record, but it inadvertently happens to show this old world building. As you can tell by the, <clears throat> the old tried and true characteristics, as well as the shape and the... Even this, as stripped as it is of all ornamentation, looks better than most buildings that we're building now. And once you see them, you know, you, you, you develop an eye for them. And of course, we're going to build this building and then board up a bunch of these and then jam a pipe through it. We're not going to build it so that uh, the function of it, you know, it's designed to operate the way we intend to use it no 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 we're gonna build it the way we want and then we'll just board it up and make a hell of modifications that don't make sense sure is that water pouring or is that just a dirty pipe or what hard to say and this also not part of the historical survey but the engineering but you could see here uh this old world wall on what used to be pretty obviously <laughs> a massive castle unless you think that the navy base needs stuff like this this looking like something that this, the Navy would definitely budget for, sure. I mean, you take these anchors away, and this little canopy could be anything. And here we are again, more of the naval base that makes no sense. With the Phoenix on the top, because these were most likely built by, that's right, Phoenicians. Phoenicians built these buildings. The Phoenicians were here, just like they were in Mexico, all of South America. And that's why we all share the same building styles. Not because of colonists. Christian colonists who went and built pagan temples in Mexico, killed all the people, and then rebuilt them aqueducts to help to be helpful and provide them with fresh water after they were dead. If you believe that, well, good luck to you. In all things, you're going to need it. I don't have all the answers. Matter of fact, I have very few, but... I got a whole heap of questions. And one of those questions is... Like, like, like there's a g -g -g glowy school guy over there, Scoob. Scoob! Pansy. Who said that? I'm on my way. And here we are back at the original naval base from the first video. Dun 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 dun. We have no use for this beautiful large building, as you can see. Alas, while it is historic and amazing in structure, we have no room for this. We don't know what to do with it. Leave it here, just leave it here, let it go to waste. But secretly, they have no explanation for it, and it harbors perhaps too many secrets. Here we go, we're gonna follow the same format as before, you ready? Building goes to here, see the mouse pointer? Down to here, building. Window, window, matching, window, 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 window. Window up here, gonna turn it to door. Extend it down, turn to a door. Window, window, covered by the steps. Wrapping around, we have window. Window, this obviously needed to be completely redone at some point. They had a door. They probably fucked something up. Basement, under, window, window, window. See how they line up? All the same. And then here, and close but not quite the same, rough hewn, door frame not fitting, little entrance to get into here. You see? Repurposed. Not built like this. End scene. And the new Century Club, of course. And, uh, what have we here all? And a curious thing about these older structures that you often find is there's often... Big doorways and little doorways. Sometimes the little doorways cut into the big doorway. Now, why would they do that? Unless they're planning on bringing in massive amounts of huge ornate furniture, which is possible. I will allow that. But it also leads to the idea that perhaps there might have been some people that were taller. Yeah. Since they tell us that we're taller now than ever before, I'd like to think that we're probably smaller now than most than before. I'd also like to take Abraham Lincoln's word for it when he said... While giving a speech in Ohio, you can find this on the uh, Library of Congress, where he says that the bones of the giants who built this civilization lie in the mounds surrounding us. The race of giants, he says, not figurative giants, literal, out of the mouth of the old honest Abe himself. Follow the science. Follow the words of the leaders. Even though honest Abe was kind of a crook. In real life, he still said it. Ooh, he said it. Ooh, what are you going to do about that? Nothing. You guys don't care. Nobody cares. We'll have to hear from Dr. Fauci before we listen to it. Only Dr. Fauci knows. Yeah, find the Fauci. Fucking guy. He put a quarter's nickel, say anything. And meanwhile, I've been ignoring the absolute opulence of this building, which is just 
unbelievably out of place. Look how tiny this man is. And yet we're going to get ropes and donkeys and wooden scaffolding and that, 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 all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, stopping, making everything so ornamental, so symmetrical, so perfect, so lovely, all this, all the way up, not stopping, not stopping. Look, even there. And this is all just fantastic work. And it's all for a hair salon. Give me a fucking break. And of course, this building is uh, the New York Mutual Life Insurance Company building. Of course, it's an insurance building. Those creative types, of course, they would not have created something like this. Or, you know, it's just as big of a scam as everything else that we walked into. Like, it was there for... I realize that I have repeated myself throughout these surveys, and I also realize that that might be a little annoying. But I also realize that there may be some people who are just kind of jumping in for the first time, so rather than just start talking in code, and they'll be like, what the hell is going on here? Figured I'd leave some sort of roadmap. Interesting that there's a layer of brick in there. Nothing to see here, people. Conversations I've had, you can dig pretty much anywhere you want in the ground, anywhere in the south... In the uh, Eastern United States and hit brick in your garden or whatever. Where did it all come from? I've never once seen a brick manufacturer anywhere around here. The amount of brick it would take to build these cities is fucking ludicrous. And yet we have no sign of it anywhere. According to the census in 1820, the powder works complex included a number of buildings. Two stamping mills, press house, dry house, bakery mill, magazine, powder master's house. Of course, everyone needs a powder master. I think they call him a cocaine dealer nowadays though, but you know, times change. The reliability and quality of their powder, well, it was no longer competitive. You done priced yourself out the market, drug dealer. Well, I'll be jaggered. Where is this place? This Nider Hall magazine. Here's a farm. Uh, nothing to see here, folks. This is the old greenhouse. The plants have taken over. Peculiar entrance. Looking like a entrance like a Dutch village. Where's your wooden shoes, Georgie? You can't be, clo you can't be skipping around here without the clip-de-clop that we know so well. Must be like our home's low like that. Mmm, just happens to be underneath here in the perfect place where to let in as much rainwater and snow as possible. Brilliant. Mm. Uh, weird way to build a building if you're just gonna board it up like that. And there we go. At least this one's being honest about its radio tower. Ooh. Beautiful old buildings by the hundreds. There's so many of these here. And USA! USA! Uh oh. Yeah, that's about right. No, oh, that might be the cutest graffiti I've ever seen. All right, you kids can go. You know, that is really a kind of a funny approach to take versus a. F you, dude! Certainly a lot better than just bleh. But USA, that's an even funnier one. USA! USA! You're under arrest. Officer, are we just being patriotic? No. All right, you can go. I was just trying to tell Mr. and Mrs. Butter that I love them. Uh, children, where are your parents? This is like the eighth or ninth incident where there are little children outside of a building that looks like little children should not be outside of, or anywhere near for that matter. Get your tetanus shots and get the bleep out of here, kids. Oh, this crazy Asian man will show up and give you donuts. Yay! We love donuts! These donuts not for you, they're for the cow. <laughs> And yeah, Pennsylvania, just incredible, man. What a crazy place. They say that, you know, Europe has all the history, but why would America have any less? Was it built later as a continent? No. And this is apparently part of the fire department that later on became whatever this is, with this crappy sign. Look at this, the door here, these ornate wooden carvings that mean nothing now compared to what the building is used for. And then this shit sign, like, if that's not a stark contrast to each other, like, to show you that this shit's been repurposed. Oh, look at this nonsense. This old world amazing beauty. This. And we're to believe that fucking bank. Y'all right. Here you go. Look at the tops. They're the same. The tops of the windows are the same. You see? This is not an isolated incident. Thousands of buildings all across the country, actually all across the world are like this. All across the world. And that's what this is all about. This is just one of a multi-part series in Pennsylvania that will continue, and it will be a part of the entire world. You'll be able to come see Algeria looking like this. You'll see Uzbekistan looking like this. You'll see bridges like this in Bahrain. Oh, the wonders of the world that we'll see together. If only I can find the time. Tagonal, hexagonal structures like this with curious things like this up top. Is it a church? Is it a cross? Is it an antenna? I don't know, but I have an idea. So welcome. So thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoyed this, well, I'm glad. If you did not enjoy this, well, hopefully it's because it made you uncomfortable challenging some of the ideas that you've been told your whole life. 
But if not that, if it made you uncomfortable just because maybe you have indigestion or I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. But fare thee well, my friends. We will meet again. And I leave you with this impromptu song about Pennsylvania. Well, if, well, let me take just a little second out to explain you How I got a brand new change of plans When I read a little paper talking about the land of Pennsylvania Tell me I can get anything that I want Well, it turns out there's a lot of empty shit in Pennsylvania People that lived here before done gone So I picked up this guitar Found a band in Pennsylvania Wrote a little propaganda song Well it didn't take long For me to stroll up and just obtain them a banded brick building with a basement that I could call home. It seems that there's a building empty here, plenty Pennsylvania. You ain't got to do shit to get one. There'll be kids getting off the train all day. You can hire them and pay them. Well, ain't no pay. Doing all of your work. And if you don't like the way to give you some lip, well, you just turn the spit and bend them bitches over your hip. Give them a spank in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It wasn't no secret recording. It was just me fucking Randy. Now, don't take offense now. I'm just be joshing around. I ain't from the South, and even though y'all are a bunch of damn Yankees, I ain't even hold that against you. <laughs>